few weeks ago, I reviewed the updated version of the Seek Thermal Compact for smartphones, and I was really quite impressed. If you want to see that review, the link's in the description. So when I found out the same company were releasing a new all-in-one handheld thermal camera, I was intrigued and I couldn't wait to try one out. And this is it, the Seek Thermal Reveal. A thermal imaging camera with a 206 by 156 resolution thermal sensor, a 36 degree field of view, a built in 240 by 320 resolution display and a rather handy 300 lumen LED flashlight. It comes in this nice box and there's the welcome guide and underneath you get a one amp wall adapter and another little cardboard holder with a lanyard and a micro USB cable for charging the device. On the front you have the LCD display. Now it's not a touchscreen display, but the interface is controlled by these three rubber buttons across the top. It feels really solid and well built, with these rubber grips along the sides. And there's the button to turn on the LED flashlight. There's two threaded holes on the back, but I'm not sure what those are for. The end where the magic happens has the flashlight and the lens for the thermal sensor and that whole piece is made from a really nice matte black magnesium alloy. The rear end has a rubber piece that pops open to reveal the USB port and the micro SD card that stores your photos. To turn it on you just hold the middle button down for a second or two and you're up and running in just a couple of seconds. The menu is well thought out and easy to get around with the three buttons. That weird psychedelic effect you're seeing isn't there in real life, it's just the way my camera picks up the pixels on the display. This is the gallery where your photos are saved onto the micro SD card and you press the left and right buttons to navigate through all your images. It comes with a range of filters so you can choose the best colour palette for the task at hand. My favourite one is called Glow, but the black and white filters seem to give just a smidge more detail. In the menu if you go to Device you can change various settings like the date and time, the language and whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. If you go into power you can set the device to automatically shut off after a certain amount of time to save battery. But to be honest I don't think anyone's going to worry about battery life with this device. You can see in this test where I left it running all night. The company claims 11 hours of continuous use, I got about 11 and a half. And to recharge it again takes about 90 minutes. Also under display you can change the brightness of the screen and if you go into flashlight you can change the high and low settings really precisely which I thought was a nice touch because sometimes you only want a small amount of light for looking at something close up like a fuse box with a dodgy fuse. On the highest setting I was quite impressed with how bright the flashlight is considering it's not the device's main feature. It really puts out a ton of light and has a wide flood as well as quite a long throw in the centre of the beam. You can tell they've really put a lot of thought into making this as useful as possible. And it is useful, it's not just a cool toy. Aside from finding that dodgy old fuse, I was able to see some damp spots in the basement, locate studs in the walls and realise that my iPhone wall adapter is wasting energy even when nothing's plugged in. And then there's the all important turd test, when the sun goes down and your dog does his business in your garden and you don't know where it is. Test successful. Aside from the more practical uses, it's just such a cool thing to play around with. I don't think there's a single thing left in my house that I haven't pointed it at. And some of the images you can capture are really quite beautiful if you play around with it. I even brought it to shops and malls and pointed at lots of random people. Something I don't recommend unless you want to be in first name terms with the security guards. Something I thought was a bit of a design misstep was the SD card slot. 
Normally on devices with card slots, you press in the card and it springs back out for you to grab it and remove it. On this, the card doesn't spring out far enough and there's no way to get it out without a pair of tweezers. Having said that, it's not a huge deal because the easiest way to transfer your photos is with the supplied micro USB cable, so the SD card never really has to come out. Another small issue I found during my week of testing was that every once in a while the unit would reboot when I was trying to capture an image. It should be noted though that my review unit was one of the very first to come off the production line and this might have been fixed by the time this review goes up. I think the reveal is going to be a really useful tool for people in construction looking for hot and cold spots or faulty wiring and also for home inspectors looking for heat loss and moisture. It doesn't have adjustable focus like its smartphone attachment counterparts so close up work like circuit inspection is going to be quite tricky. But what sets this device apart from any other product even close to its price range is that this is an all in one solution. You don't need a smartphone to use it, it takes just one press of the button to be up and running and it's built like a small tank. This is something you can throw in your toolbox or your pocket and quickly pull out to check something and put it away again all with one hand. The built-in display is large and well protected, the battery life is ridiculously huge and the built-in flashlight is a really useful addition that I find myself using just as much as the thermal camera. Overall it's a well built and well thought out device and if you're into thermal imaging you should definitely check it out. That's it for this review. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, make sure you subscribe and I'm going to leave you with some photos I took with the reveal over the last week or so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.